Do you have a personal mission statement? Do you even know what one of those is? I've been thinking about that because I recently went to a funeral for a very dear friend. And uh, you go to the funeral and you hear everyone talk about this person and how wonderful they were, hopefully. It was with my friend. But um, <clears throat> it reminded me of when I read the book by Stephen Covey, Seven Habits, Habits of Highly Effective People. And uh, that book was kind of difficult for me to read because I'd not internalized that kind of awesome material before. And it was, I took a long time reading it because I wanted to apply all seven of those habits to my life. And one of them is to begin with the end in mind. And what does that mean? And what he explains in the book is he talks about, you know, envisioning yourself at your own funeral and what would you want people to be saying about you? And it was really hard for me to do that when I read that book. And I've been trying to do that since. And he tells you about writing a personal mission statement. Hi, Pauline. And so I, I worked on that. And I have that, and I want to share mine with you today. But I also wanted to encourage you to, to do this, to look at with the end in mind. And it's really hard because we, you know, no one gets out of life here on planet Earth alive, but we don't like to think about that. I know I don't, and it's hard to think about that. I know people who have had um, terminal diagnosis of different things that they have been put in that position where they have to think that. And when we don't have that, it's harder to do that because we just want to live. I mean, who doesn't want to live? We all want to live. And I've been trying to wrap my head around that without being morbid or anything negative like that. And when I went to this funeral of a friend of mine, because I was so close to her, it really did help me to imagine that, which it can be sad and negative or it can be motivational. And that's what I want this to be, is I want this to be motivational. What kind of a person do you want to be? What kind of a life do you want to live? What do you want people to say about you? And it was wonderful the things that they said about my friend and what I said about my friend. And what do I want people to say about me? I, I'm i Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com and I'm that lady on the internet who loves you. I say that all the time and I want to be known for that. And that has come about just in, I think, the last year or so because I've just gone online so much more because the whole world has gone online so much more. But I did write my own personal mission statement. And so I wanted to read that to you because I want you to know what I want to be about. And if you hear anything that you're like, you're not like that, I would encourage you to call me out on that because I do want to be like this. So... It's just one page long. I'm going to read it. And it says, I will live loved. I will be aware of both my value and my belovedness in the heart and eyes of my God who loves me. I will mirror that love out to others. I am loved to love. I will live free. I will be true to who I am and who God has declared me to be, not being hindered by the opinions of people. I will speak up when needed and not hide. I am free to make mistakes and learn from them. Likewise, I will allow others to make mistakes and learn from them. I will forgive quickly and hold no grudges because I am forgiven much. I will extend grace and mercy to others because I need it myself. I will not judge or condemn myself or others. I will remember there is no condemnation because of the finished work of Jesus, my Redeemer and love. I will be true to my inner yeses and nos, respecting myself. And I will take care of myself and learn to master self under the leadership and guidance of my God, his word, and his spirit of grace. I will remember I matter and I am we. 
I will not should myself, but foster good self-care. Likewise, I'll foster other people's individual freedom to choose and rule over themselves and not should them. I will seek to communicate well so that understanding and trust are firm foundations. I will seek to live an interdependent and proactive life, responding instead of reacting. I will seek to live the long game instead of the short game, being patient and submitting to necessary processes instead of wanting instant gratification. I will fiercely protect the grace in God I've come to know. I will seek to take proper care of my soul. I will seek to honor God in all that I do. And some of those things might sound silly, that I will speak up for myself and that I will, I'm free to make mistakes, but some of the things that are in there have been difficult for me because of the childhood trauma and childhood emotional neglect that I have healed from and I have changed and grown and I want to help you to heal and grow and change and embrace who you want to be. And so that's why I encourage you to write a personal mission statement. What do you want to be? How do you want to be? Who do you want to be? What are some characteristics about yourself that you want to develop? Or maybe something you're strong in and maybe, you know, write it however you want because it's to serve you. And so that's what I wanted to encourage you with today. Do you have a personal mission statement? I encourage you to write one if you don't because I love you, you matter, and I'm that lady on the internet who loves you. Danielle Burnock from daniellebernock.com and love yourself from Survive to Thrive. I love you.